In this video, we're working on the backhand shot. A little bit different from the wrist shot, similar motions, uh, but the only big difference is this curve. When we take the wrist shot, we're using the front side, which helps us keep the puck on the blade of the stick. And when you're taking a backhand shot, the curve's going the other direction. It's pretty easy for that puck to slip off. We're gonna work on that, give you guys some tips to improve that backhand shot. We're gonna use some of the similar concepts from the wrist shot in the backhand. We're gonna start by drawing the puck back a little. This gives us time to build power on the puck because the puck is in contact with our blade for longer. Step one, pull the puck back. You can see my hands, they move across my body so that I can pull that puck towards the target. You can also see I'm transferring my weight, right? Another big important tip here is turning that blade so you keep the puck on the blade. You can see where the puck is located, right at the heel. I don't have it near the toe because it would slip off. The curve is in the wrong direction. It's not at the middle because it would slip off. Start with it near the heel, roll that top hand, which will roll the blade. You're gonna keep it trapped in there until you want to release it. When you want to release it, so you pull it from the back leg, you see it's lined up with the back leg. You're gonna pull it lined up with the front leg and then you're gonna open that blade really quickly. And here's the difference from the wrist shot. Instead of pulling with this top hand and pushing, we're gonna push with the top hand and pull with the bottom, and that gives you the nice snap so you can quick, quickly pick it up. So I'll show you right here. Draw the puck back, we're transferring our weight, we're pulling the puck, pulling it trapped, we're gonna open the blade really quickly, and then snap towards the net. All in one motion, draw the puck back, pull, and snap. Always end with that nice snap at the end of your shot to get more power. The backhand is not known for its accuracy, but if you practice enough, you can get accurate. Let's see if we can go two for two. All right, let's go. We're gonna top left first. Oh, I was close. I'm gonna go uh, top right. Off the bar and off the target. Does that count? <laughs> I do wanna hit that top left target. Give me one more shot. The key here is really drive with that bottom hand towards your target, drive up and at him. Up and at him. Ready? Oh! <laughs> the backhand is not known for being a very accurate shot, but the players that are accurate with it, whew, deadly. So use the 10,000 Shots app and keep on working on it. Try to get as accurate as possible. The nice thing is the goaltenders don't really see it coming. It's hard for them to read where the shot is going when it's coming off the backhand. So keep on working on that backhand. Hope these tips have helped. And if you guys need more help with any shot, any stick handling, any shooting, uh, any skating stuff, we do have a training site called The Pond. We walk you through everything step by step with lessons, courses, drills. We have a coupon code right there in the video description. And of course, we have all kinds of free videos right here on YouTube as well. So check out those and help you guys improve your skills. See you next video. Oh.